All right, guys, I'm dead excited because the other day I got an email from YouTube asking me to join the YPP, the YouTube Partnership Program. And that means I'm now officially a YouTuber. And it's all down to you guys for subscribing to my channel. So thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Now, because I'm officially a YouTuber, I decided I'm going to make something special. Now, my favourite thing to make is electric vehicles. And normally, I make them for kids. But this time, I'm going to make one for me. And I'm going to make this. It's a 36 volt, 500 watt electric scooter. And I've just finished doing the full size drawing. And in this video, I'm going to be making the battery box frame and fitting the rear forks. So, let's get making. <laughs> to make life a bit easier and to make the finished item look a little bit more professional, I bought myself an old bike. In this case, it's uh, a BMX, and I'm going to use the front forks and the rear forks. And I'm also going to use one of the wheels for the front wheel. Now, when I got this, the, the bearings in this, oh, I thought they were, I didn't think they were bearings, I thought they were hexagons covered in sand. It was like, <laughs> but now I've cleaned them all up and they're absolutely fantastic. So that's good news. And today I'm going to make the battery box and try and fit these rear forks. Let's get on with it. Well, that's enough of that. Not very exciting watching metal being cut. Well, not unless you're doing it like this. Or you win a stuffed animal! Mmm, oh! there's an idea for the future. Let's get on with the welding. I might be slow, but I'm not doing bad. Brilliant. Now that I've finished welding the side pieces, I've fitted the batteries in and I'm going to measure the distance between the two sides so that I can make the cross members. I'm going to add a few millimetres on so that I'm not jamming the batteries in and so they don't get stuck. Now before I carry on, there's a few things I have to explain. I know that I'm going to be doing things wrong on this build. For example, I'm using gel batteries and they're big and they're heavy and I should be using lithium batteries and there's plenty of you guys out there who are probably saying no don't do it like that you should do it like this but the fact is I've never built one before and I don't want to be spending hundreds of pounds on lithium batteries just to get an extra 10 minutes or just to get an extra 5 kilometers an hour. I don't really know how fast it's going to be. I don't know how long it's going to last. Although I've done some research and I've got an idea. But it's all designed around these gel batteries. And the reason I've got them is because I had them lying around. So I'm going to carry on. And once it's finished, I'll be able to tell you guys, yes, it's fast enough, or don't do it like this. I, I don't know till it's finished. So let's get on with it.
going to be using the rear forks off this bike. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them off. I'm going to make one side fit. And once it fits, I can make the other side to match the opposite side. And I'm going to start by removing the brakes. If ever you want to remove stickers off metal, instead of scratching it with sandpaper or breaking your nails, just warm it up with a heat gun or a hairdryer and then it'll peel off all in one piece, dead easy. I've just come across the first problem, it's not a big problem, but it's a problem nonetheless. When I fit the forks, I've got to fit a disc brake. Um, I've ordered the adapters and they screw onto this thread. Now the disc brake is going to touch the forks unless I move the forks out. So what I've got to do is I've got to make a spacer. Now that's easy enough. I'm going to make the spacer out of this bar. But the problem is that the bar doesn't fit over this. So I have to remove the connector. I'm going to have to make a note of the positions and the colours of the wires. And then once I've taken that off, I can remove the nut, remove these two, put the spacer on, and then reconnect all the, the plastic connector. So let's get on with it. I've managed to get some spacers fitted. So now I've fitted the forks and I've put the brake disc in, in position temporarily just to have an idea, just to make sure it doesn't rub on the frame. Uh, that gives me an idea of where the caliper is going to sit. But I can't do that yet because I haven't got the adapters for the disc. Once I've got the adapters, I can final fit the disc. Then I can work out where to make the support for this caliper. I have to be careful though because as the wheel's spinning, I don't want the valve banging on the caliper. But I, I can't do that today, so I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to take that off. And um, what I can do though, is I can mark and cut the forks and then get them welded to the frame. So let's do that. Right, I've got this theory. Well, I say theory. It's more of a guess. Um, but anyway, if I clamp this metal bar onto here, it's got a flat surface, and I should be able to keep this flat against it and cut through both of the fork legs, and they'll be parallel. Well, that's what I'm hoping. Let's just see how it works out. Well, it seems to have worked. I didn't 
didn't really like doing it like that, but um, hey, it's worked good. Excellent. I've clamped the rear forks in position. And what I'm going to do now is uh, tack weld these rear forks. And once I've tack welded them in position, I'm going to remove the wheel and fit a spindle uh, so I don't damage the wheel. And then I'm going to weld all the forks up. Okay, it's time to see if I can weld it up. Let's give it a go. Well, there you go, guys. I got the rear forks welded on, and it's looking quite good according to the plan. I've only made one change and that is I put these forks the other way up and I did that because I wanted the longer thicker piece to be flush with the bottom of this frame so let's get the rear wheel and see if it fits fantastic what a good do well there we go guys I've got the frame battery box holder made and I've fitted the rear wheel now fitting the rear wheel was a little bit tricky because obviously the wheel has to be center but on this side I had to leave a little bit extra space for the brake disc when um, when the adapters arrive because I don't want the disc rubbing on the frame so what I've had to do is move the, the fork six millimeters out and then I had to re-straighten this piece so it's parallel with this side and now it's all on it's tightened up it's perfect and there's enough space for the brake disc once the adapters arrive so that's it for this episode in the next episode I'm going to connect the batteries and all the electrics and try and get this rear wheel spinning thanks for watching guys Catch you next time.